Hi, this is David from David's Hair Design and this is my client Leanne and today we are going to do peekaboo colours which are colours that just show underneath and the top layer of hair falls over so they go peekaboo and there you go. So for the top what we've got to do, Leanne is about I'd say a base six to seven, she's got quite a lot of gold in her hair. So what we're going to do is pre-lighten the whole head to fairly blonde and after that we are going to put onyx through the top which is onyx is that color on the color chart it's sort of a smoky gray color we're going to do that through the top and then we're going to do various colors of green purple and blue on the underneath and the sides and afterwards we'll style it into a new hairstyle I think. So I'm going to get started. I'm using the Alpine Alpine Blonding Cream with a 4.5 developer, equal amounts. I'm going to put it on the roots but what I'm going to do when I put it on the roots is leave it about half a centimetre away so we don't get the hot roots until the wrist is lifted. I'm not even going to put the um, the bleach right through to the ends because that's light enough to take the colour anyway. So we'll just do those first about two inches of growth. So let's get started. Right, I'm going to start at the back because the back of underneath hair is always the darkest, always takes the longest to lift. So we'll start there. And what I forgot to mention is I am using my trusty colour flex. So the integrity of the hair isn't compromised too much. It will keep the condition and does make the hair feel a hell of a lot stronger. And the colour does come out a lot more even. So I've put um, about seven mils into my mixture because I've got quite a bit of mixture. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply the first couple of sections. Then I'll do the whole head and then I'll come back to you all on that. So first section I'm going to do... A little bit away from the scalp as I said because bleach does swell got my first little bit done I should also be wearing gloves but you know what hairdressers are like we got hands that are cast iron get those little hairs underneath and just work the bleach right through with your fingers which is where you get the burny bits so there we go first section done and make sure you've got a towel available as well just to wipe your hands and we're going to take the second section Taken quite thin, otherwise it's difficult to push the bleach through. So we've got our second section, and away we go. About a half a centimetre away from the root, like I said, because the bleach will swell. Give it a bit of a rub through. And that's our next section done. So I'm going to carry on through the whole head and I will come back in a sec. Right, we've done the mid lengths from about a half a centimetre off the root up to about there. Um, I have done, I'm going to turn around, I have done the back which is actually already lifted. So what I'm going to do now is go in, apply to the roots, I'll probably leave it on for about 15 minutes and then we should be done. Right, what I've done now, I've actually done the roots and I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes to lift. We don't need to go very, very light because we are going to go for the onyx darker colour. So even if it is still a little bit on the darker side, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So we'll leave that for about 15 and come back and have a look later. We've taken the hair up to, it's about a level 10 
which is the lightest blonde. It is quite goldy, but then we are going to put the onyx through the whole of this top area. The onyx is... I'll show you the onyx because I see in the first part of the video it didn't come out very well. I do apologise for that. We only got half a head, but I think you can get the basic idea. But the onyx is this one here. That's what we're going to do through the whole of the top. And through the underneath and the sides, we are going to use some midnight blue, some plume, which is a deep purple, and a tropical green. And what I'm going to do is do it in layers. So the bottom layer underneath there will be blue, then we'll do a purple, then we'll do a green, unless I change my mind, which I might do, and we'll do them randomly. But we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes as we do it. And as soon as I put the colour on, I will show you what exactly what I've done. Right, we've placed all the colours in. We've done um, a midnight blue underneath. Then we've done a layer of tropical green. Then we did purple, which is that one there. And I found a colour in a pot with no name on it. So this is this one. So we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what colour it is or what it's going to come out. It sort of looks like an electric bluey colour. And well, when I wash it off, we'll find out. Now I'm going to start doing the top. I've mixed my onyx, which hasn't oxidised yet, but it will go a bit darker than that. We're going to do the left over here in that, so that it will form a veil over the rest of the hair after we've cut it. So I'm going to start applying that now. I'm just going to take it from the roots straight through to the ends and leave it on for a full 45 minutes to process. And then we'll be done. The colour's all on. We've got the onyx through the top. As you can see, it's starting to go a darker grey. All the foils around and 45 minutes and we will take it all off, cut it and blow dry it and we'll be done. Right, we've finished now. We've got the smoky grey onyx top with the various colours underneath. There we've got the blue, the purple and the green all flowing in together. I hope everybody... You me? I hope everybody liked the video. I hope we all learned something. I sort of learned as I went along with some bits of it as well. And don't forget to subscribe. It is free. A lot of people think you have to pay, but it is free to subscribe. So please do. And have a look at my website, which is davidshairdesign.co.uk. I've also got an Instagram account, which is davidshairdesign50, all in capitals. And I'm also on Twitter at, at BazDave. And see you soon.